Now, as you probably know, I find history and unusual facts incredibly interesting. So I thought I would share a few of those with you concerning Cinco de Mayo. Now, many people believe Cinco de Mayo marks Mexican independence. It does not. It celebrates the Mexican army's victory over France at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. Mexico's independence is actually celebrated on September 16th. The, the Mexican army was it, was, it was volunteers, it was, you know, people who just joined in the fight and they were terribly outnumbered. Anyway, Napoleon III of France had a specific interest in taking over Puebla. He wanted to turn it into a base that would help the Confederate Army during the Civil War. And some historians believe if he had succeeded, the war would have ended very differently. Okay, Mexican President Benito Juarez declared it a national holiday on May 9, 1862, and FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, helped bring Cinco de Mayo celebrations to the United States as part of his good neighbor policy in 1933 to improve relations with Latin American countries. Mole Plobano, all right, mm. is considered <laughs> to be the official dish of Cinco de Mayo. It's a sauce containing chili pepper, chocolate, spices. Very unusual, yes. very good. Yes, it is. Cinco de Mayo also shares the day with other big moments in U.S. history. That is the date of Alan Shepard's space flight, the first American launched into space, and in 1961, the opening of Carnegie Hall in 1891. So, you see, Cinco de Mayo is actually a celebration of culture and history, not just margaritas. Exactly. And exactly. we did add the margaritas. That's one reason. And it just kicks off spring. It's a yes. perfect time. It, it does. And uh, this year it falls on Taco Tuesday. That makes it even better. It's very poetic, isn't All it? Right. All right. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. Yes. Now, coming up, we'll take a small break from the festivities to hear from our dynamic duo. Yep. Will and Bruce are up next, as well as Entertainment Tonight's Nichelle Turner, Cinco de Mayo food from Price Cutter, and even more music. So you don't want to miss it. Ozark's Live is just getting started. Be right back.